It was supposed to be a proud moment for Russian technology, the unveiling of Aldol, the country's first humanoid robot. But just seconds after stepping onto the stage in Moscow, the robot fell. While the US and China are unveiling robots that can dance, run, and even think on their own, like Tesla Optimus, Boston Dynamics Atlas, and Figure 03, Meanwhile, in China companies like Ubtech Robotics are already leading the charge in mass-producing humanoid robots designed for factory automation and industrial support. These robots are capable of performing complex assembly line tasks, quality checks, and logistics operations, signaling a major step toward fully automated smart factories and reshaping the future of manufacturing efficiency. Russia's first attempt stumbled at the starting line. Experts said the fall symbolized more than a calibration error. It showed how far Russia lags in the robotics field. Unlike companies in the US and Asia, which train robots using generative AI models, Russia's development is still largely mechanical, not cognitive. But here's the interesting part. Aldol's creators didn't hide from the mistake. Their CEO, Vladimir Vitukin, said, A successful mistake turns into knowledge. An unsuccessful one turns into experience. I hope this mistake turns into experience. Every fall, every wobble, and every failure is part of the learning curve. Even Boston Dynamics Atlas took years of crashes before it could do backflip. The US is testing robots guided by AI Copilot. And Russia? It's trying to prove it still belongs in that race. Aldol's fall may have looked embarrassing, but it also reminded the world that progress doesn't come without faceplants. Because whether it's robots or people, what really matters isn't the fall. It's how we learn to get back up. Comment what you think about this. If you like the video then don't forget to subscribe, it really motivates us to create helpful videos.